Today we are traveling to Door County, Wisconsin. We just made it to Milwaukee. So I'll show you some clips here in Milwaukee. Honestly, I'm just going to be taking you along our trip, giving you little clips of everything. So here okay. we go. What? <laughs> Ready? stars in the sky look down where he lay the little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay oh my word Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here really quick because we were made aware that right now in the world there is a global food shortage. It has been the most severe food shortage in 70 years and the most vulnerable, the people who are most vulnerable to this food shortage are children. I'm gonna read to you guys some statistics on Compassion International. I'm gonna leave the link in the website below and then I'll put up the link here but it says the impact of world hunger and its effects on children can't be ignored. 9.9% .9 of people in the world are affected. 149 million malnourished children in the world right now and 3.1 million children have died um, from being malnourished, not having enough food. In this vlog, you saw that me and Johnny enjoyed so much good food, even food that we didn't even vlog or film we put in here and every day we eat food and we take for granted the fact that some there are a lot of children and people around the world who are suffering from not getting enough food and compassion international's mission is to help these children get food in the name of jesus so honestly when we found out that there is a global food crisis we could not ignore this and we want to share it with you guys um, because we feel like that's our duty because you can do things to help these children across the world who are suffering we can do things to help you can give you can pray there's so many things you can do to be involved in helping helping these children and helping change the world with the love and compassion of Jesus Christ. So please go check out the link for Compassion International. Today, while you're eating your meals, think about the children who don't have food and pray for them. Say, Lord, provide for them. Lord, use me to provide for them. Lord, thank you for this food that you have given me. So just things to think about. Um, there's other people in the world who are suffering right now, obviously this and so many other ways. Camera died. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so let's have compassionate hearts and reach out to these children the best ways that we can. So that's my little snippet for the video today. Keep watching. thought I would give you a quick update. So we have been in Door County for a few days. We went to a Christmas market yesterday and a Kris Kringle market. That's what it was called. It was super fun and went to a few shops, like a Christmas shop. That was all the footage that you probably just saw. And we've just been relaxing here, watching the soccer world cup or football world cup. Um, yeah, and just having a good time. Yesterday was a bit of a hard day for me. Um, I don't want you guys to watch these vlogs and think their life is perfect and she's always happy. I have been struggling with my emotions lately. Something that we discussed yesterday, me and Johnny. And um, I just had a rough time yesterday with my tongue, with my words, with my thoughts. I wasn't acting sanctified or dignified so yeah at least I recognize it I'm repentant and I know that God will not stop sanctifying me throughout my life but also I love that you can like see me right there me getting distracted anyways um I think we all want to be those good Christian women um and sometimes it can be hard when we see in ourselves just sin and the flesh and the world calling and especially just like when we get down on ourselves for not being at least for me not being the perfect Christian woman I want to be um not even just being Christ-like when I see don't see that within me I get disappointed and sad and I want to get down on myself but that's not the spirit of the gospel. The gospel is about God's grace in our lives and how he has made us clean. And he's going to work every day in the rest of our lives to make us more like him, even when we have our bad days. So I was repentant yesterday and I'm turning it around this morning. Me and Johnny woke up and we talked about how. Anyways, what was I saying? I can't even remember. Oh, I remember that. So this morning, I, let me, let me set this down before it gets a little crazy. So this morning, I, me and Johnny just woke up and we were like, okay, today we are not going to fight. We are not going to fight. Because yesterday I was just getting offended by so many things, like petty things, and it was just like, too many fights were being started. So like mini arguments, not even, I would just say mini arguments. So I was like, today we are not going to argue. And so we resolved this morning, we're choosing to stand our ground in that. So yeah, um, it's been, it's, it's, blah, blah, blah. it's been really relaxing and peaceful here. I'll show you guys what I have been doing with my art. Um, I have been testing out, I okay, when I was younger, I used to take art classes, and then I stopped for a long time, years, and then I randomly started getting back into art, and when I got back into it, I had to reteach myself everything, because I had taken art classes when I was super young, so kind of reteaching myself everything. If you didn't know, I have a art YouTube channel called Art by Ashley Ann. I have an art Instagram and I'm working on opening a shop and opening a gallery online. So like my own art website called Art by Ashley Ann, which hopefully will be coming out soon. I've been working very hard on that. Um, but what I've been working on now, so if you want more art vlogs and like literally specifically what I'm talking about in this like 30 second clip, if you want that more, go check out Art by Ashley Ann on YouTube. I'll have it linked in the description. But I've been testing out these oil pastels. I used to use these as a kid, haven't used them in maybe, how old am I? 14 years, 10 years? No, no, probably 14 years. 
or more. Probably haven't used them in that long. Um, so I've been testing them out. I'll show you guys all. I, I did a few different paintings in here. So I'll show you. Not paintings, oil pastels. I don't know how to call them. Okay, so this was my first painting and it's mixed media as you can tell. But I have some oil pastels in here. It kind of looks like the crayon. My second just oil pastel um, painting is this one. That was actually my first time only doing oil pastels. And I've been reading this book. It's not a book, it's a magazine called Modern American Encounters with Suzanne and Company. And honestly, I was just in here looking at different artworks in the, let's see, modern era. I got that one from in here. Ah, right here. So I copied this master, master copy. So right there. So as you can tell, I'm just like really getting into, on, into oil pastels. Very new to me. But this was an original oil painting. So it's not going to look the exact same. And then the next artwork I did. Hope you guys don't freak out because it kind of looks weird. But I'm working on my faces too. So let's see. Alright, this was the sec third painting I did with oil pastels. Really trying to work on my faces and being more loose with my colors and strokes and everything like that. So, Frida Kahlo, which Johnny says look like, looks like a man. <laughs> my painting. No, it doesn't look like a and then lastly, <laughs> these peaches, which I don't know if I love how this turned out, but it was fun. I love the colors. I loved learning about the colors. This was originally an oil painting as well. So did three master copies to work on my oil painting skills. What are we doing today? Today we're going to go for a little swim. The lake looks pretty quiet. So I'm just going to go swim a little bit and have some fun. <sighs> What are you doing? I'm to turn it off. Holly hanging across the door. Neighbors singing tales of your... For those of you who don't listen it's to so me, so close. Yeah. Hardly can wait. Right? Waking up on Christmas, children dreaming without a care. Tis the season most everywhere. So come home, there's no better place. Waking up on Christmas Day, tinsel wrapped around the tree. Did you fart over here before you left? No. Currently on a hike right now, getting into nature. Johnny's exploring down there. Ooh, it's so nice. I have been forgetting what it's like to be in nature and I want to do this a lot more so something about it just so calming and peaceful that I really 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 like so I'm gonna turn off the camera here because why in the world would I go on technology when I could be in God's creation see ya we finished the hike now on to get some food